All right then, hello guys. Today we're gonna be doing another Pico CTF challenge, and the challenge we're gonna be doing today is gonna be called Three Vow. So it says ABC's website has a loan calculator to help its clients calculate the amount they pay if they take a loan from a bank. Unfortunately, they are using an eval function to calculate the loan. Bypassing this will give you remote code execution. Can you exploit the bank's calculator and read the flag? And the website's running here. So we see the website, and the first thing I do is try seven times seven, and we see it results to forty nine. So now if I look at the backend code to get more info, it says right here, it's a Python, Python Flask, um, Python Flask application. And it's blocking malicious content like OS, eval, bind, connect, socket, all this. And it's implementing regex to check for specific things. So what could we do for this challenge? So like very first, I want to see what, what happened if I implemented the simple, if I put a simple payload without any type of encoding at all so I'll try doing we'll try open flag dot txt dot read we'll execute it and we get forbidden keyword detected that's all we get so now if we go back we want to be able to find a way to, I guess, bypass this detection. And I'm guessing, what was the keyword right here? Eval, open, connect, blocking, OS, open, flag, and read. Open, okay, so we're fine with this, but I'm guessing it was part of this regex that caught it. So we could probably check it out. It's probably a dot that it caught. So regex, or well, I'm not even sure regex 101. We just put our rule right here. And then we just put this and see what it caught. Dot txt, I guess that's what it caught. So it caught dot txt, which was, yeah, it, was, it caught dot txt. So it's looking for .txt or .stuff. So I wonder if we could just do this. Uh, let's see if this works. Star. String literal. Oh, well, maybe that would have worked. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, because uh, I guess I deleted that. Let's see. If this works, that would be amazing. No such file direct. Oh, maybe root. Root. I don't know. I'm just trying. Oh, I got root. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to try this. So we see that it's not working. So what can we do? So if you look at the Pico CTF thing, it says right here, you might need to encode or dynamic construct bypass restrictions. So what we're gonna do is basically encode our payload and we're gonna be using base64. So how are we gonna do this? So it's basically the same logic with open, but this time we wrap our open with an import module, import, and then we wrap this with base 64 and then we'll just close this out with b64 decode and what we're gonna decode is basically the value of l2 z s y w c u d h h zero close this and do dot decode dot decode and then just close it like that so if we grab this right here and we put this around quotes like this and go to base 64 decode leave it basically runs get flag.txt so now if we go back right here and if we run this 
Uh, result. IO text name. Mode read. Oh, go back right here. We're supposed to read it out. So read. So we were able to see it. So execute. Pico CTF don't use unsecure functions. So yeah, that's about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did. And I'll submit this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.